Position between the rump steaks and the lemon drizzle cakes. A quick creep round the shelves of Mystique, the centaur of Plentor, up back between the fridges and freezers. It's the Middle Isle Podcast. Hello and welcome to this, another look into some of the anomalies found over the last week in the middle aisles of our favourite German supermarket. I'm your store manager, Rob. And I'm the creative checkout assistant with a comedy line about every one of your purchases. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you got that? Yeah, it's a shop. This week we're joined by our shameless and brainless raiders of the middle aisle, Josh. Hello. And Tom. Hello. For the last week we have been loitering around the middle aisles of well-known German supermarkets, seeking out the most obscure and bizarre items that money can buy. We'll be taking it in turns to show our items, which none of us have prior knowledge of. So without further ado, let's see who's at the front of the queue and spin the wonky trolley wheel of fate. That's Tom. That's Tom. That's Tom. That is Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. <laughs> Can't deny it. <laughs> Checkout one is now open. Oh, finally I'm at the front of the queue. I've got a sleeve. Wizards. No. <laughs> That's so immature. It, it's cooler than that, Josh. <laughs> it's a cooler sleeve. Yeah. It's a cooler sleeve. It's a cooler sleeve. You've got to keep yeah. your arms cool. Yeah, if you like, you can put it... Any Anything that fits in it, you, it will be ultimately cooler. Sweet. I think it's a cooler sleeve because of how cool it is, and not the fact that it cools things, but it's meant for wine. Of course it is. <laughs> um, so that's why I bought it. Yeah. Ideal for chilling burgundy bottles. Now... You went through this the other week, didn't I we? I think that Burgundy bottles is red. And yeah, the picture but, on the yeah. bottle, on the on the bottle, the picture on the packet is a bottle of red. Uh, but I think I think but, uh, I think Burgundy might be drank cold. Really? But I thought, are you not uh, meant to let red, red wines breathe and get up to room temperature? Well, you got to let it breathe. Yeah, that Josh, might, that right. might be uh, uh, an odd one out. Yeah, maybe. Mm. What do you mean? Well, well most red wines you drink at room temperature, don't you? Yeah. Do you know what drink is? Is you, you probably won't guess it's as common as it is. But when you're you work in, in restaurants, like, is the one you get asked for quite a bit is either Dr. Pepper and red wine, and nowhere sells Dr. Pepper, so I don't know why they ask. What, or, together? Seriously, yeah, or red wine and Coke. I've red heard. wine oh. and Pepsi. Oh, oh, oh that's God. what, um, I know someone who drinks red wine and Coke. It's yeah. like, it's like, what do they, sangria? It's like a cheap knockoff sangria. Well, red wine and Black, diet Black, Coke. Blackpool sangria, red wine and Coke. <laughs> Sangronian sangria. Yeah, that's Sangronian it, yeah. sangria. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's just a thing that you, you put yeah, your wine so, bottle so, in and it chills it. Basically, you chill chill the shit out of this, and then how, you put your bottle but, in and that chills. But no, how, best how's between it cold? Six, six to eight degrees, apparently burgundy, or served between oh, there best between six to eight, served between ten and twelve mm, degrees. There you go. So it's not what? room temperature. So how, how does this thing actually cool cool it down? Do you have to put it in the freezer first? I think you put Stylish it either in the fridge exterior. or the freezer. Um, Ideal for chilling, extended cooling effects with insulating aluminium layer. Safe for temperatures from minus 18 to 60. What? I think if you're at either of those, you're in a bit <laughs> I, of trouble I, I, there. So hang on a minute. You, put the, you, you, you have got your bottle of burgundy, and you're like, that's, a bit, that's a bit too warm. Yep. I, I want to cool it down. Yep. I better put my wine cooler in the fridge, leave the bottle outside of the fridge, cool the wine cooler down, and then put the wine cooler into that outside of the fridge. Yeah, well, do you know what? I could just bo- cool your wine. You if, could your bottle's put... that, if your bottle's that cold, would it not get stuck to your lip? You could yeah. just put your... <laughs> why, why you just put the bottle of wine in the fridge. Drinking it out of the glass. Well, so pretentious, aren't yeah. these wine Cut drinkers. out the middle, man. That's a classic one. How many glasses would you like with the bottle? One, two, straw. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you've already bought your wine, so you know that you're going to want it to be cool. So you put that in earlier. Or, on. Yeah. Or, or you've bought your wine, you've banged the wine thermometer on it, and hey, it's gone, that's not cool Oh, yeah, you're on rosé here, mate. That's it. Mood ring for yeah. piss heads. Yeah, it says ideal for chilling, <laughs> right? But then pre-coolable in refrigerator. So I thought you said ideal for children then. Yeah. <laughs> so is that pre-coolable? Like it's, it is pre-coolable in a refrigerator. That's a whole freezer. idea of it. Yeah, no, yeah. But it's like, so if you didn't, as if you're not going to put it in there, ideal, it's not, it's it's not going to cool it. anything at all, is it? No. It's just, it if it's just room it temperature. Because of the aluminium layer, will it warm it up if you don't cool that? Yeah. Or, <laughs> so so you've, you've rescued somebody on the beach. I would have called it a wine pretensionator. Pretentiousinator. Yeah, yeah, I think so, Pretentiousinator. Yeah. I don't know where I'm It's going. a horrible item. I don't like it. Well, wait, where did you get it from? Lidl. Which one? Uh, I can't remember. Was it Debbie Rowe? Uh, either there or Polton, I think. It's, I was going to say, definitely a Polton. It is, isn't it? Lunch on the park. No, oh, I'll bring my wine cooler. <laughs> South Shore one just sells bottles of three hammers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just bigger coolers. Yeah. I went in B&M Bargains once. Kestrel cooler. <laughs> I went in B&M Bargains once, right? And I, I, no lie, they had like a little section of shelving 
And on two sides of it was bottles of three liters white cider. And on the other sides were water pistols. And I was like, that the al- alcoholics on the play side? The playful side to them. Water pistols and cider. Brilliant. Oh, that was great. I think they've done that on purpose. You're counseling for pistols. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh. Just say, I'll open your mouth. In the, height, in the height of summer. What fun. Oh. White, white cider water fight. <laughs> Brilliant. Shall we move on? Check out two is now open. I have got a wind spinner. Mm, oh, I've always wanted to spin the wind. <laughs> <laughs> always dreamt of spinning the wind. Yeah. So that, spi- that, that spins spins the wind, or it the wind says, spins it. It says it rotates and moves even in light wind. Keep it away from your trousers, then. Uh, <laughs> with hanging loop. I don't know what. Where, what do you hang it off? Cock the sky. <laughs> I mean, that's what it. If you have a look at the picture of it, it's, yeah, just, it's, just, it's hanging off like cloud. a hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Pretty pretty I just hook this on my cloud. So does it fly? I don't know. Can you fly with it? It just Can uh, you fly, Bob. It doesn't really give much and suspension. If wind... Incluse. Oh, that's a. If the language. wind spins it, shouldn't shouldn't it be a wind spinny? Oh, it, yeah. right. Do you want... You're playing that you spin. I think we should try and explain what this looks like for the listeners. Clown's trousers. It looks, looks like a bit like a hot air balloon, like a little hot air balloon with uh, some a twizzler hanging off the bottom like of it. a Chinese lantern, isn't it? Yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks a bit like a Chinese lantern. But... <laughs> there was a craze of that a few years ago. We'll people with fires. Right. <laughs> so, people burning this, houses right. down and that. A very close family member, I won't mention names. Um, their, Steve. Their mum, unfortunately, passed away. And anyway, we went round to, to the house and we all had a bit of a meal and that and it was nice. And I bought these Chinese lanterns and what they do in China at the Festivals of Light is they write messages on them and send them up to, you know, whoever. So anyway, I thought it'd be nice just to write some like uh, emotional messages on these Chinese lanterns in remembrance. So anyway, we go outside to light them, and I knew it was too windy, <laughs> but I was just <laughs> hell bent on doing it. So we got all these lovely messages on these Chinese lanterns off. Left the first one off, set the next door neighbour's tree on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, swear, I swear to God, it was really awkward. Like, well, that's a good symbol, isn't it? Yeah, and he, he just comes to his burnt out tree, he finds his thing on the floor, and it's just like the light that burns twice as bright. <laughs> 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 it was just me throwing we in sheer panic because we couldn't get the hose out quick enough just throwing uh, sink tubs of water over his fence <laughs> managed to get it out but still what a shame you hadn't been to B&M bargains for your cider and cider you would have had pistol, your water yeah, yeah. you could have water gunned it out I'd have done that job just fill it with stronger spirits if you really don't like it I tried doing them once as well we had two of them and they both just burnt to the ground uh, yeah. by the bins yeah, it didn't I, even I make it I think the, the, the uh, band now I think the band for yeah, cows or yeah the I animals think. are yeah. eating them out I think getting wires trapped around yeah. the hooves and that the hooves it's are falling off the most commonly mistaken thing for UFO UFOs yeah. Yeah. I always say that the UFOs want to see them just on my own yeah. Yeah. I convince myself R- that it's UFOs that I'm seeing Rob uh, once had a, a good experience on a, a ferry staring at a really bright star didn't you <laughs> yeah I thought, I thought I could see like, was it the northern star <laughs> yeah I got, every, I got everyone <laughs> we're coming back from Amsterdam and I got, oh well I, 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 you were there and yeah, I got, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, got, I, I went down and got everyone from the bar. Hey, come, come and look at this star. It's unbelievable because you know you're in the middle of the sea. And yeah, it's, yeah. You know, there's no natural light. You usually are. See quite aren't a you? lot. Um, <laughs> so I've got everyone. <laughs> 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 I've got everyone up and um, up on the deck and they're like, "Look at that!" And uh, I just went, "It's just a light bulb on a stick, that Rob." So, aer- <laughs> yeah. so aeroplanes don't crash into the boat. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you staring at it thinking oh, that's about amazing. half an hour? How long were you in Amsterdam <laughs> for? <laughs> yeah. A big cigar I was smoking. Just, yeah. Yeah. I mean there was more of a story about on the way there, but we'll leave that. Yeah, we will, yeah. Um let's move on. Checkout three is now open. Okay, so this week I have got it's made by Bambino Mio, a <laughs> <laughs> Bambino it's a Mio. <laughs> it's a reusable swim nappy. <laughs> Sorry, it's a reusable swim nappy. <laughs> and all I could see in bright orange highlighted label says up to six months, five to seven kilograms. And all I could think is that's a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> reusable. 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 Swim nappy. I th- I'm, is nice. that not just swimming, just shit in your swimming trunks <laughs> yeah. and wash them? Is that not just clothes? Yeah, <laughs> just clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Anything's a nappy if you don't go to the toilet. <laughs> you see people walking around town with no socks on, you're like, I know what you've been doing. <laughs> Second of the day, is it? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Oh, so, so, yeah, so it's a reusable swim nappy. 
uh, obviously used for kids. It's uh, it's won a couple of awards down here. It's got the Junior Design Award. It's got the Mums <laughs> Awards 2017. Mums so- Awards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got the Mums. The mums. <laughs> it says Mums Awards 2017 Gold. Gold. <laughs> yeah, gold, not silver or oh, bronze. Oh, these are these are silver. <laughs> Not oh. bronze that the inside of this nappy. <laughs> there's, some, there's some small print on the back, oh. and all it says is with an asterisk, containment of solids only. <laughs> <laughs> no liquids allowed in these swimming trunks. Oh Jesus! Surely, if you if there's anything that you want as a parent and you're taking your young child swimming, if they're gonna have a bit of an accident, Solid, they want to contain the liquids because yeah, yeah. the solids will be like contained in any sort of swimming trunks, wouldn't they? Exactly. Depends what you have for tea. Uh, yeah, I'd, again, I'm saying any swimming trunks are reusable nappies if you don't go to the toilet. Yeah, they look. Adults, they just look children. like swimming trunks. It, it says here on the back. Mix and match, and it's trying to promote uh, other Bambino Mio products. It says, coordinate your little swimmer with matching swim essentials. And one of the essentials it's got here is swimming hat. Yeah, don't mix and match your trunks with your hat. Just have a look. nappy in your hat. Just, just have a look at the hat, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you'd expect uh, some people wear those, like, elasticated swimming caps. It's like, just, just have a look at it. It's, it's, like, it's, it's not a newspaper, is it? It's, it's a bit like a Oh, a stalker <laughs> explorer's hat. They've got, they've got a jacket. And, is that a towel? Hang on, I can't say it right. You could just oh, explore the fecal biology. Oh, it's, of a, the it's a swim, <laughs> a swim, a swim rash top, a swim hat, a swim wet bag, and a swim travel mat. That's a lot for a That's baby, a isn't lot, it? Isn't it? Christ, yeah. What are these kids up to these days? Oh yeah, what you to some trunks wrapped in a towel, and away you go. I'm not sure what makes these. Um, actually, what's different between that and just some normal trunks? You can oh, shit yeah. in them. Yeah. <laughs> well, it just looks like the same material. Yeah, it will. Yeah. It's, it says on the back as well. It says, uh, just pass it here. So it's, it should say, swimming trunks, if you shit in it, it's a nappy. Yeah, turn your trunks it's, into a nappy. This is it. Do not, do not use chlorine. Pools are full of chlorine. <laughs> like, what's going yeah, on with this? they sea swimming then, aren't they? <laughs> for sea I mean, swimming. <laughs> Shit in the sea. For throwing kids off the prom. Six month old baby. (laughs) Into the sea off the pier. In you go. Let her learn. Back in my day. (laughs) Just walk into the back room and ask for a job from the manager. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's fucking brilliant. Let's let's move on. Checkout four is now open. (laughs) Marvel. At this, <laughs> it is a half watermelon mat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Matt. Uh, <laughs> What's it like being half a watermelon? Yeah, it's a, I'll tell you, Matt. It's a, it's a doormat or some oh. or, or, or the such. But Begs it's the question: it's a, Why? Why exactly? Why yeah. it's half? It's half a watermelon, like it's a slice of watermelon. It, I, if it was a full one. Yeah, a watermelon synonymous with greetings. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, it's a greeting into your kitchen. In the Caribbean it is, yeah. yeah. And for a, just for a mat, it's not very big either, so it's pretty... It's child's daughter, yeah. melon mat. A melon mat. For your funhouse, with fruits. <laughs> yeah, um, I just thought it was really, really... It is quite a, a strange object, you know. And it's like they haven't even... It's like they've put colour on it, and when it's got to the green bit, they've just thought, ah, yeah. 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 If you up. arrived at someone's house and that was there, just at the front door, uh, what, what would you be expecting when you got inside? Cocktails on arrival. Uh, Definitely. A, pain, a, pain, a painful couple of hours. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd be expecting a... What did Taskmaster call it? A, a melon buffet. I delivered a pizza to a woman, and her doormat was just a cactus. And I said, what an actual cactus! Must have hurt when you stood on it. <laughs> I said, "Does that mean you can come in, but don't be a prick?" And she just, hey, she hey, just hey. shut the door. She didn't even smile or anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> just shut the door. well it's, the doormat says a lot about the person. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, these, I, I, I am a prick. Yeah. These are the kind of things that um, that people with no personality yeah. have to do. Just so, so the right prickly disposition. Yeah. Mm. Just you know, like get something that invites a question, yeah. and then be really pissed off when someone asks the question. Yeah, you know what I mean, imagine like... receiving that as a present, and you have to then 
use the melon mat because just put it out when you make <laughs> it. Didn't want to be rude, yeah. And now, now you've got to have that outside your door. And people just think, look at that. I, 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 I fucking hate melon as well. Is it made from actual watermelons? Uh, no, it's made from coconut. <laughs> just to really throw you off. <laughs> <laughs> Could be coconut hairs. Why, yeah. what's, what's your beef with melons? I'm just, just not into the taste. He was just wants to wipe, like, his, just wipe his feet just, all over him. Watermelon I can just about hack, but then the yellow melons, whatever they're called. Melons. They're no, there's a certain... Yellow thing. melon. Honeysuckle. <laughs> honeysuckle. Honeysuckle. Honey 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 yes, uh, they're horrible. Yeah. And they're just full of, full of seeds. A bit and sour, aren't they? You, you didn't used to like working they, in the kitchen. They, 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 they can get fucked and so can grapefruit. If you're eating grapefruit in the morning, you're even 90 years old or there's something seriously wrong with you. If you're a grapefruit, you can fuck off. <laughs> With your melon door wipe, your, wipe your feet on it, Al. Yeah. Go yeah, on, yeah, yeah. Go on yeah. show yeah. it. I'll show go you. On, take boss. it out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's better. You yeah. Get it out, mate. Know get your place, out. watermelon. <laughs> Don't forget you can bid on this. I know, yeah. Someone's got <laughs> really lucky with that one. Um, yeah. yeah. Enjoy. Superb. Right, uh, Al, what's on the cards? What's on the cards? This week, sports trivia. Ooh. So uh, Ooh. similar to uh, what we've had before. Other uh, trivia. Yes, just uh, uh, answer the question. Yeah, what's the premise of the show? Just answer the question, answer the question <laughs> mate. Answer the question. Answer Come on, that. we're all waiting. There's 60,000 people looking at your sunshine. Come on. <laughs> Number one. I love sports. <laughs> <laughs> what are the first names of the tennis players, the Williams sisters? Mars and Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> Not far off. <laughs> Not far off. Uh, uh, Willie and Will I Am. Will I Am Williams. Williams and Will I Am Williams. Yeah, Williams and Will I Am Williams. <laughs> William Williams. <laughs> and Will I Am Williams. <laughs> William, Will I Am Williams. That's it. Right, yeah. Do you know them? So, yeah, they're good tennis players. <laughs> Get shit at making music, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number two uh, what tea time combination is traditionally eaten at Wimbledon tennis tournament oh, it's, it's Stella and Bricks <laughs> <laughs> it's grapefruit isn't it <laughs> <laughs> and watermelon <laughs> grapefruit and water. strawberries and cream strawberries yeah. and cream yeah, yeah and, uh, and a little bit of Cliff Richard they serve him there as yeah. well new balls please <laughs> <laughs> it was like Cliff's order yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, in English, what is the Olympic motto? Not a clue. We will win. No foreigners, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, if I if I give you what it is, then maybe you can come up with some other ones. We've got faster, higher, stronger. So that could be That's... slower, lower, weaker. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that a track by a DJ? Fucking... I can't remember. Oh, da Daft Punk, I think. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. DJ Daft Punk. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's they've them. split up, haven't DJ they? DJ Daft Punk Williams. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they've split up, I think, Daft Punk. Yeah, they did, yeah. yeah. yeah they've <laughs> called it a day. Yeah. They're back together now. Yeah, it's not, yeah it'll, be, it'll be a clever rock, not Daft Punk, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 Well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who holds the world record for the men's 100-metre sprint? Jeremy, Jeremy Beadle. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Worrell Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's coming out of a uh, <laughs> pry mark, isn't it? It's just le you're legging it with a steak. <laughs> <laughs> He's nice. also afraid of ITV2. <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah, afraid of the newspapers. <laughs> Um, uh, it's got to be Usain Bolt. It is it? Usain Bolt. The oh, thing is oh. about that 100 metres, like, when, yeah, when he did the classic sign, is the fact that, like, about 10 metres away from the end, he starts celebrating. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Slows so down. he could have done it even faster. Yeah. Yeah. It's just mental. And I remember watching uh, Ramesh and uh, whatever, Rob Beckett interview him, and he said, Do you not wish you'd done it faster? And he just went, no, it was cool as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you know yeah. what? He's a sports personality. Yeah, he's just, he, he's like, you know what? Said. I'm so much faster than all of you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, it. I'm not going to let you know how fast I actually am. Till he sold his ass to Virgin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He'd make a great thief. Yeah, he would, yeah. Shoplifter. Five Rip. finger discount. Jama Jamaica, Jamaica's fastest shoplifter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, I don't think uh, you have to be that fast to outrun the uh, average police. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. 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 Because a lot of them are girls. As long as you can run 10 metres, you're probably all right. that wheeze, wheeze, it's the sound of the police. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, okay. In which country did sumo wrestling originate? America. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 
I assume more wrestlers are healthy, aren't they? Yeah. But apparently. It's actually like the if, diets. If, if you, you ever watch um, documentaries on mm. sumo wrestling, it's it's really hard to, to how much weight they put on. It's, yeah. it's it's not like they just lounge about watching yeah, Netflix yeah. or whatnot. They actually put a lot of effort into shoving calories. Is in. it? Is it yeah, it's, sports it's, purely, people, huh? it's purely to just make you heavier. Oh shit yeah, to yeah. Fart. They're, 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 weight, they're, they're, they're very very well respected in what's, Japan. What's what's so what's the rules on sumo? You have to push them out of the ring. Yeah. Is it or you can fully out? Throw you, them you, can, well, you can or... you can throw them out. Or you can dodge just they're charging at you and. Right, they like wear them uh, reusable nappies as well, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to fit in that one. Is that it 0-3? Definitely yeah. is a seven kilogrammer, isn't it? <laughs> well, once you've shat in it, you've got a bit of extra but weight there. But they do some big shits. <laughs> yeah, don't definitely. They? Don't yeah. they? They always like the, but the, the thing is, they're cutting half because of them nappies you wear. Yeah, yeah, you've got a little slicer on. <laughs> and in the wait, sp- waiting two hours because the scales can't cope. And in the spare time, they uh, tip up on stag do's. <laughs> <laughs> So there it is, another episode of the Middle Isle Podcast, all wrapped up. For your chance to get involved, head over to Instagram and search for the Middle Isle Podcast. We'll be letting you vote on your favourite item from each show. At the end of the series, the item with the most likes will be crowned the winner. All the items from the series will be raffled off, the proceeds of which will go to the winner's nominated charity. We're also on Facebook and Twitter, so don't forget to give us a like or a follow and keep up to date with all things Middle Isle. If you find any gems yourself, feel free to share them with us as we'd love to see them. We'd also like to thank everyone that's listened so far to date. The response has been unbelievable. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, town crier it, serve it up to dinner guests. For now, it's a thanks for listening. It's goodbye from me. Goodbye from Al. Goodbye. Goodbye from Josh. Au revoir. Goodbye from Tom. See you in a bit. Peace. Toodaloo.